Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here and welcome back to Outriders and we are continuing, ooh, we got a bit of a stuttering there. We are continuing our uh, our journey along here. Uh, you guys know that we were we running this quest over and over again, uh, taking out the cultists, but we now have to investigate the Alchemist Laboratory. So uh, if we go over into our quest map, We've got right here, scientific method tract. And the next thing we have is, uh, come on, come on. There you go. Come, okay, where? Investigate the alchemist laboratory. When you ask Zahedi for an exclamation for the uh, altar's powers, he pointed you to the alchemist known for conducting inhuman experience, experiments in his research of the altar. Anything you can learn about your powers, about what you are, must be worth investigating. The Alchemist Laboratory is rumored to be nestled somewhere in Eagle Peak. So there's an underground lab right there. Uh, so we're going to go over to... We're probably going to go here to the Snowy Plateau. Um, because... Yeah, that would probably be the best thing. Underground lab's right there. So we could go Mountain Road Bridge and then Underground Lab to go to it. Um, but it's, wait, why is it telling me to go this way? It's telling me to, okay. <laughs> it's just telling me to go straight down. All right. Uh, I think we're okay. Oh, we do have a couple of, uh, skill, uh, sorry, class points to use. We've got two point, uh, class points. We can do the increase in movement speed, increase your close range weapon damage by 15%, or increase armor piercing by 10. I kind of want to go down to the... Wait, what are we using right now? Uh, we're using the Emperor's Will, and we're using the Rising Tide. The Rising Tide has been fun with, um, with the bullets. So, let's see. We've got, got a Shotgun Master. Assault Master. Let's go Assault Master. Uh, which actually we're not even using an assault, uh, assault. Yeah, we're not using. Um, can I remove this one? No. The only thing I can do is completely reset it. Ooh, okay. Reload. Weapon damage. Boop boop. Concentration and assault master, and I still have two more. Um. Against the odds, surrounded by powers. Uh, life skill, uh, no skill each now. Wait, I can't remove it. Oh, I can't remove it. Okay, reset the tree again. Bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, max health increase. And resistance, auto resistance. Uh, let's increase auto resistance and also resistance. I like that. Yeah. And then we'll increase max health next. Time. Okay. Um, so there we go. And uh, I guess, again, like I said, we're just... It's wanting us to go straight down. So I'm guessing it wants us to go to the bunkers. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, okay. Wait, this is a... I haven't had this cutscene before. Oh, wait, am I going to be... Where am I going to be? Where am I? I am here? Yeah. Wait, so I should travel to the snowy plateau? Okay. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. Now this is open. All right, let's go. There we go, scientific method area. Okay, all right. We got this, we got this. Thank you, IC3. All right. Here we go. 
right. Uh, investigate the Aximus laboratory search tracking back to MQ. What? Oh, no, no. Okay, so I kind of messed that up there. I don't know what that tracking thing is. Okay, there we go. We're tracking this one now. Um, this weapon has essence thief, regenerative crit damage, weapon life leak, long range damage. Okay. Um, the both of these have been worked on, but I think I prefer this one right now, and then we'll do bullets with it. Oh. No. No. And you what? Whoa! Um... No. How about a no? How about a big fat no? I hear something. Oh, we have these things. Okay. So in this case, um... The best thing would be In this case the best thing would be um my uh, other skill item clear the lab okay okay um that wasn't terrifying at all we gotta search around see if there's anything else any secrets to be had okay i'm guessing that opens later Okay. Anything else in here? Dude, why are you so scary? Ah, it's collected. Using POWs as lab rats. Alchemist log. Okay, we need to look at this one. Dr. Alexander Rostropovich. What else can you tell me about this alchemist? Okay. And puppet, I will take that bet. What do you want to bet? It, it all I have to be is over ten percent. <laughs> Though I once might have thought it unthinkable, I have begun capturing human specimens, specifically prisoners, and fastening them to makeshift lightning rods for electromagnetic testing. The ECA didn't approve. They wanted to keep the prisoners, exchange them for their own POWs captured by the insurgents. But this is the only way to collect necessary data on the alteration process. The ECA cut funding for the project and demanded I put a stop to it. I refuse. So far, they've been too scared to come and stop me. And even if they try, I'm always looking for more subjects. After a turn from work, I'm performing the most vile, repugnant work I ever imagined a scientist engaging in. Yet I am convinced it must be done if I am to learn the secret of this curse. But that doesn't mean all the screaming. Uh, that doesn't make all the screaming any easier to bear. Hmm. Okay. 
All right. So, uh, yeah, he was torturing people. What are we going next? Where are we going next? We're going here next. Okay. This opened up now? No, no, no. Oh, the door. The door that we were looking at before. Hello? Wow. That's so cool looking. Ooh. When you zoom in, you can tell how uh, unfinished the, the graphics are. Huh. Oh, well. Still looks good. Uh, sure, Puppet. Okay. Oh, yeah, I had the key now. Okay, here we go. Get ready. Oh, uh, do I want to? Yeah, I do. Let me go ahead and change this out for spin to win. There we go. Okay, we got the spin to win now. Why you gotta be so scary, huh? I thought there was gonna be like a nope or something over here. Alright, hi. Okay. Oh, muffins. Spin to win. Oh, wow. I wish I could, uh, oh, muffins, hello. You were all weird, man, before. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Um, let's just. And there we go. This alchemist spent years experimenting with the anomaly. He was capturing soldiers, nailing them to crosses in the storm, shoving the anomaly right up their asses. Language. To weaponize them? No. In the end, I think he was trying to figure out how to. Reverse it. How to make himself human again. Hmm. I wonder if he had been touched as well. Alright. Um Okay, that was fun to say the least. Are we done? Oh, that was the doors. Thought that was a creepy scream. Wait, is the doctor? Is that the doctor? That is the doctor. Don't cry. There is tranquility. Do we need to fight the doctor? Dr. Alexander Rostropovich, personal log. Experiment number, I don't know how long it's been anymore. I have lost track. I was a fool to pin my hopes to subject number six. His overwhelming hatred for me seems to have completely compromised whatever stability his transformation initially displayed. Any attempts to reverse his alteration have completely failed. I fear he too has descended into catastrophic failure. Is it possible he is willing this part of his transformation? Is it possible? 
Is that what I should have been doing to my curse? Trying to will it under my control? Tonight, I may have found my answer. While attempting to capture an insurgent to be my next subject, I made a breakthrough. An ECA soldier accosted me. A sudden anger raged in me and I grabbed him. He scratched at my eyes, trying to escape my grasp. But in an instant, his head burst open on his shoulders, bathing my face in hot blood. I was so surprised that it took me a moment to realize what I imagined in a flash had actually occurred. This unforeseen rush of power must have intoxicated me. Stirring emotions I thought vanished from my withered soul. I knew I wanted to do it again. I waited there, hoping for searchers to come. Two eventually came looking for their missing compatriot, and with intense concentration, I was able to boil their blood within their bodies until it sprayed out of their eyes. I did not even need to touch them. I've avoided including ECA soldiers in my experiments, but I no longer have the luxury to be picky with the subjects I choose. I cannot allow more abominations like me to be birthed. I need results fast. While my rage left me without any new test subjects, it also gave me a feeling of control I've never experienced all this time when searching for a weapon to destroy the altar. What if I am that weapon? Wow. All right. Let's continue. We got to go fight this doctor. I hear something. Oh, that does not look good over there. Oh my gosh. Dude. Spin to win. Spin to win. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dude. What the muffins was that? What the muffins is that? Oh, you biscuit. Oh, you mama. You bacon. You bacon eater. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, you don't. That was not okay. Is that you, Doc?
I was originally coming over to look at this thing, whatever it was. Wow. Uh, Dead Hunter asking, why do you play solo? That is a fantastic question for the Q&A. Uh, if someone were to ask that in a video, I can definitely answer it in the video too. But um, uh, basically the reason why I am doing solo right now in, in the storyline is because I want to be able to go at my own pace in the storyline. Um, if I... Um, if I play with someone else, they'll just, you know, rush through and get everything done. And I can't, you know, investigate everything and look at every nook and crank. No. I don't know who that is. Um, yeah, so I can't take my time to look at everything and see if there's any, you know, secrets anywhere or anything. And, you know, just uh, take a moment to read the, like, the... The stuff that I just read. So he would put them in that cage. And then drop him in there. To be altered or just die I guess. Alright let's go. Oh wait we need to open this too. Come on. Oh is this a restock? I thought it was a. Whew. Okay. I thought it was a chest. I thought. Inspect the charred corpse. All right, next log. Dr. Alexander Rostropovich. Personal log. I don't even, I can't. What happened yesterday? What have I become? I lost control. I murdered on a whim. Without remorse or second thought. When this began, I pushed compassion aside for the greater good, but it's become harder and harder to be certain what the greater good is anymore. And now, Subject 6 has escaped. It's my own fault. Subject 6 was the first to survive anomaly exposure. The first to show potential as the perfect candidate for my experiment's purpose. But I allowed myself to be distracted. Fascinated by the increasing power of my own abilities. I failed to watch number 6 closely enough. Who knows what powers he may manifest. What danger he now poses. The last thing this cursed world needs is another one of me. Especially not one created by my own hubris. I know I must find him. And I must stop him before he finds me. Bum, bum, bum. Um, so, wait. So this is not the doctor? This is subject six? Cutscene. Okay. Wait, can I see the past or is this the present? Oh. Subject six or doctor? Subject subject six. Oh! Oh, is that the Seth dude? Yeah, that's Seth, isn't it? No, that's not Seth. What is that? What? Is that on his back? And now you'd shove me back into darkness? No. Oh. It is you who shall be known by darkness. Why do you have that and thing in your back? Falsely to be gods. Ooh. That sounded squelchy. Okay, so this is the doctor? Okay. Stabbed with a rebar, then burned all to hell. Or the other way around. Can surgeons get to him? No. One of his test subjects, Subject 6. Seems like he survived the alchemist's experiments. And he wasn't too happy about it. My god. Come on back, Outrider. Okay. Okay, that, that was just... That was just gross. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. Oh, wait. Why is it reacting?
Wait. Did that actually do something? Am I making it mad? It's not just me. It's getting bigger, right? Yeah. It's getting bigger. It's getting closer to me, too. Dude, it's getting closer to me. Oh, no, it's not. It's just fluctuating. Well, maybe not. Okay, anyway. Wasting enough time. Uh, we're done. Okay. Uh, bye bye. Thank you for uh, having us. Uh, your home is lovely. Um, you know, just uh, we'll send the postcard. Uh, I guess we head back because we've got everything here. Yeah, we can probably do some uh, more uh, cultists. Uh, quick little runs. That's a fun little one to do. Okay. Uh let's talk to Zikidi. First of all, let's restock. Right, what do you got, man? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Uh the alchemist took his knowledge to the grave. The alchemist? What did you find? <laughs> I love how sassy I am. I'm just another insane fuck who paid the price for his questions. Language. Wait, what? Okay, that was funny. Uh, okay, so we've got... Ooh. Core 09 Mark Setting Sun. Rifle. Standard variation. Firepower. Eh. War Zone. Wayfarer Suit. Upper Armor. Bones Firepower. Long Range Damage. And Wind Slash. Uh, Wraith's Masks, Anomaly Power, Skills Life Leech, and Eager Edges. Venator's Knife. That's two more bounces during the Ricochet Path. Uh, I am going to be using, um, I am going to be using these, I think, for the Bouncy Bouncy. The Mask wouldn't be bad. But I come, I'm kind of interested about that, uh, but it's just a, a standard rifle. It doesn't have a scope or anything. Yeah, let's go with the, the race match. Just because we don't really have that many of this one, I think. So let's go with the mask. Cool. For nothing else than at least for Jane. Jane. Oh, yeah, Jane. I forgot about Jane. Um. Okay, so we can replay. Yeah, we can replay this one. We can replay that quest. That actually might be a fun quest to replay a couple times. Um, I'm not going to upgrade my gear yet. And that's it. Oh, side quest completed. Assign new quests. Okay. That's it. We're done. So we've completely completed Eagle Peaks. Leave the camp. Investigate the Volcano's Peak. Kill the Molten Dakari. Uh, report back to Cap Captain Dunham. Ride cable car to the insurgent base. Break through the insurgent stronghold. Ride the cable car to the radio tower. Kill the insurgents guarding the radio tower. Send the cable car, cable car to Zahidi. And now... We just just speak to Jacob to continue the Dead Rock Pass. We've got too many quests we can do here. Uh, we've got the cultists, which is... Oh, wait, 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 wait. What is this? What is this? We're not done yet. We are not done yet. We are not done yet. What is this? We got a locked area here can we go right now uh but so far we've got too many quests we can do the one we just did and why am i hearing screams all right so we can just go not towards the radio tower so that's the radio tower so we can go wait what I guess just go this way? No, this is where we were before. Oh! Oh! Is this this one that... This door? 
Oh, hello. Reward. <sighs> Nothing good. I have still to get a good stuff thing. So, this way? Wait, what? Secret area, secret area. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel. Sec okay, let's go back. All right, so how do I get to this area here? So we've got two here, right? Okay, so we're right here. The cable car arrives here, and we've got this area here and this area here. This is the area we just went through. So there's another area? Over here somewhere? Wait, what? Because, yeah, that's that's the cable car area. And there's supposedly some other area here? Oh, here! This? Yes, but I can't go down it yet. Why can I not go down it? Huh. It's right here. Can I not do this? I I can't jump. All right, I'm checking on chat. Does anyone know how I can get down here or do I need to do something else? There's something else over there. Yeah, there's a hole. Oh, look at There's another cable car right there, too. Wait, there's a whole different cable car right there. That's for the hunt mission. And I can't do that right now? So I won't be able to do that right now? Yeah. Through the game without jumping. It works, though. It works. Activate the quests. How do I activate the quests? Who do I need to talk to to activate the quests? I don't see a little... Do you have an extra quest? Uh, nope. Alright. How do I activate this quest? Whoa. Hey, Matsy. How's it going? Does anyone know how to activate this quest? Does he have it? Does Jacob have it? Uh, time to go prepare the truck. Nope. You? Uh, nope. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to activate this quest. Nope. Nope. I don't know. Yeah, if anyone knows how to activate this quest, uh, please let me know. Um, press M. All. Nope, doesn't look like I have it. To go to the map and select to track it. Unknown area. No quest available in this area. 
I have no way to go to it. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and start the next area. But uh, definitely, if you know how to activate that area or that quest, please let me know. Um, it doesn't seem like I'm able to start it right now. You get what you needed from the tower, right? Yeah, sure. We go yes, we can go. Uh, okay, time to go. Let's go. We have to talk to the hunt dude first. Who is the hunt dude? Where is the hunt dude? Okay. Uh, so we are going to... So we did... First city, we did Rift Down. You need to unlock hunts. You need to go to Trench Town before you can do them. And I don't have Trench Town. Well, Dead Rock Pass. Let's go. Okay. So we are going into Dead Rock Pass for hmm, let's find out hello minefield danger <laughs> it's like danger no it's danger i thought it was a question mark <laughs> oh, look at that. Look right there. Look at there. Over there. There's some paper on the ground. Okay. So let's find out what we're doing in um, this area. Nope. You're just going to make it worse. No, I got it. I got it. So, we've got problems. Insurgents have taken the quarry, and the only road headed east has been mine. There's no way through unless we talk to Corey. He's the Grand Marshal. Hey. He is not known for being generous to strangers. Fortunately, I told that charming young lady out there that we were headed east. Now, Don't tell people where we're going. Right, I wouldn't normally, but it turns out she's Corrigan's associate. She'll give us an intro if we help her drive up a package. Uh, what kind of package? Oh. <clears throat> Try anything, darling, when your short pathetic life is over. I oh, hope she's not so over, sweetheart. <laughs> you. Who are you? I go to the end of the fucking world and you're still in my fucking face? Go drown in your bottle, asshole. Ugh. Why am I not surprised to see you in chains again? <laughs> that girl. Is she a friend of yours? Someone from a long time ago. Any reason she hates your gut so much? All right. First things first. What is this place anyway? Dead Rock Pass, Marshall Collins turf. The only plot between the town and Trench Town. All the lumber to build the trenches on the front line comes from here. Used to be trees as far as you can see. But now they're all gone. Mostly just mud. Okay. Good to know. We've got Alistair. Alistair's. Uh, Remember to look behind you. <laughs> Don't forget to remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So something about toilet paper. Um, let's see. Okay. I think we are good to go for now. We're probably going to leave this episode here. Um, here's all our stuff. We're going to start the mission here with him, I think. Explore the area. Depart when ready. Oh, oh, we're already leaving. Wait, what? 
Oh, we don't even have a... We don't have a... Um, oh, what's it called? Oh, here we go. All right, so that's going to be... Our, okay. So that's going to be our first... Uh, oh, hello. Restock. Okay. Hello. Oh, he's looking at me. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Okay. And uh, there's another passageway over here. Let's see. Oh, hello. What's this? The Crisis. A History of Madness by R.T. Elliot. The official archive, April 2160. Uh, all right. Realizing that ECA had effectively abandoned them, a revolutionary group formed among those left to survive the slums. Outside the protective walls of the first city, they named themselves exiles. These insurgents, as the ECA preferred to call them, were disorganized and fought amongst themselves more than the ECA. As time went by, however, they grew from angry protests and random bombings to a serious threat. As more anomaly storms struck the first city, the exiles' demands for food and shelter within the sea walls led to constant riots. Skirmishes broke out between rising insurgency and the ECA army. Despite the exiles having superior numbers, their inferior weapons, training, and discipline resulted in their attacks being easily rebuffed for a while. The ECA realized all, too, realized all too late that the first city's collapse was inevitable. They decided to steadily move their headquarters to a more secure location, a place that could, at the same at the same time, offer shelter from the storms. Though its construction was still incomplete at the time, that place became Rift Town. Okay. Hello. You whistle, whistle. Oh, what are you doing? Don't know what you're doing. Okay. Uh, and then we had one more area over here we could look at. Yes, over here. Oh, hello. We can go up here. What did you say? Take the stairs. Have a... Oh, mama. We got a full on fire there. We got two of those. Whatever the heck you want to call them. Three. We got Stormy McStorm over there. We got sand. We got... Wow. Why is this game so beautiful? It's terrifying, but it's beautiful. Notes. Interesting. <laughs> Notes. Interesting. <laughs> Fragments from a junior sci science textbook published in Chicago, Illinois, the year 2065. So a long time. When most of the Arctic permafrost melted, about 200 billion tons of CO2 and methane stored in frozen organic matter were released into the atmosphere. This accelerated the rate of climate change. With the average temperature of the Earth's oceans rising by one degree, this rise was enough to destabilize most methane clathrates, releasing even more methane stored in such deposits and sealing the climate's fate. The oceans were deprived of great volumes of oxygen, which resulted in the extinction of many subspecies of marine life. This led to the overpopulation of anaerobic bacteria in oceans, turning them into stinking mush. As average temperatures on Earth climbed a further five degrees, most rainforests turned into arid glaciers. It turned arid, glaciers melted, and ocean levels rose by 12 meters. Food prices skyrocketed, skyrocketed globally, and poor populations faced starvation. Crime and international tensions increased. Many countries transformed into police states. By the middle of the century, limited supply of food and greater number of wars reduced our human population up to 5.3 billion and this is supposed to happen in 45 years 43 years 44 years so within our lifetime okay something to uh look forward to or to avoid it's up to you Ain't nobody stupid enough to come around. <laughs> hi i'm stupid okay um you can call me mr stupid finally let's wrap it up here Oh, we got no lumber? Okay. Yo. Oh, you're the silent, strong silent type? You are the strong silent type, aren't you? Or you can't talk. Because everyone else talks like crazy. 
<laughs> okay, we got another door here, okay. Okay, yeah, so we've got a full area here. Okay, place your bets. Okay. Yeah, this is a full area right here. <laughs> Was he falling asleep? Is he asleep standing? <laughs> I like that. Okay, so this seems to be an entire new area where we're going to have several quests. Ooh, hello, Mr. Alistair Cullen. And, okay, so we've got Alistair we can talk to. And we've got someone screaming on the radio. So we're probably going to start with the screaming radio unless uh, someone tells me otherwise. But I'm going to leave it there, guys, for this episode. Um, I think it's episode 11. Yes, I think it's 11. As always. I am DUJ2. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please do me a huge favor and have yourself a fantastic day. If you're watching the stream, don't go anywhere. We're not done yet. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.